Hi folks, Will from Min.io here with a how-to on connecting to Min.io using our Python client API. And in this video, we're going to be using Python 3.9 as well as play.min.io, which is our online sandbox where anybody can connect to and work with the Min.io platform. And I'm going to be running all of this out of VS Code. In brief, we're going to be building a Min.io client using our Python client API. Of course, in order to do that, you're going to need to install the Min.io libraries, and I'll take you through the process for doing that as well. It's very simple to do using pip. Let's go ahead and take a look at some code. And here's a very simple, short piece of code. All we're doing here is connecting to Min.io on play.min.io. And we're also going to do a list buckets just to show you how many buckets we have up on play.min.io right now. To build your Min.io client, you call the Min.io constructor, which is part of our Min.io package. And you give it an endpoint, play.min.io. You also need to give it an access key and a secret key. That's your username and password, if you want to think about it that way. The username password here, the access key, secret key you see here is common for play.min.io. Anybody can use this. And we are making a secure connection using SSL. Once we've made that connection, then we just can use that client object and call whatever methods we want to on it. In this case, again, I'm just calling list buckets to get a list of the buckets. Now, if I was to run this, you'll notice there's no errors listed, but if I was to try to run this with Python 3, demo.py, I'm going to get an error. And the reason for that is I do not have min.io installed. So how do I do this? Very easily, I just do a pip3 install min.io. Very easy to do. We're fully integrated. It's easy to download. There we go. We've got all of this information just download right here. We're using Minio client library 7.1.12. It is Python 3.7 or above compliant. And you'll notice that there's also a couple more libraries that get installed. The certify for certification, SSL, that sort of stuff, and the URL lib3 for all of my HTTP connection goodness. So now that I've successfully installed this, I do have a little error here about my version of pip. But now that I've successfully installed this, let's go ahead and try Python 3 demo.py one more time and there you have it our total number of buckets is 42 and this number is going to change whenever you run this similar code that's because play.min.io is absolutely a sandbox anybody can go in there anybody can create buckets anybody can delete buckets if our server gets full we're just going to delete everything so it's definitely not a server that I would try to use for any kind of production work. You cannot be guaranteed that what you put up on play.min.io will be there in five minutes, much less five days. So with this very simple demo, though, I've showed you how to connect to your Min.io endpoint using an access key, secret key, and we are using SSL. It is secured, and that's everything that we have for this particular how-to. I hope you've enjoyed this little demo of our code. If you'd like to connect with us, you can use any of the methods that you see here on the screen. You can also reach out to us interactively on Slack at minio.slack.com, or you can simply leave a comment on this video. Thanks, and we'll see you for the next one.